Thank you, Andy. Elida softball team got off to a great start last night, beating those Crestview Knights 10-9 in an eight-inning contest. Andy tells us a mix of veterans and rookie Bulldogs hope to get Elida softball back in the spotlight on a regular basis. The Elida Bulldogs, a very diverse age range. Two freshmen, three sophomores, four juniors on the varsity roster to go along with two senior leaders. We've got two seniors, Erica Keel and Katie Shoyer, that I'm expecting a lot of leadership from. And they're the kind of leaders that lead more by uh, action than they do by word, and I really like those kind. I think we make strong leaders, but we also have a great crew behind us that helps us out with everything, so it's not too hard. We have a great pitching staff, and our hitting is pretty well-rounded all the way down our lineup, and we just have to make sure our defense is there, and we'll be fine. This group that put up 10 runs against Crestview last night has been playing softball together for ages. It really does. This group gets along pretty well, and, and the good thing is they've played together ever since they were 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years old. So they know a lot of each other, and they've played with each other, and I think that really, really helps out a lot. I think it's our chemistry, and we have a um, good offense this year. I'm feeling very excited. I feel like we'll have a really strong team this year. We're, we're young, we're old, we're what? <laughs> We'll see how it goes. It's going great so far, and with today's rain out against LCC, the next chance to keep it going comes Saturday with a doubleheader at Bell Fountain before opening up Western Buckeye League play Tuesday against defending league champion Bath. At Dorothy Edwards Field, Annie Lynch for the Sports Report.